Ooh, shit. You're a big boy. And he's got a big health bar. Hello there, guys. And welcome back to Small Lands. First of all, I am addicted to this game. As you can see, I'm level 21. I've progressed quite a bit. I'm pretty much top of my game currently where I can be. I've done a lot of resource hunting. I've done a lot of battles with different bugs to get all the resources. And obviously, you can see I claimed this tree, which means I have built a little base for now. Nothing too major. Just a little wooden hut, really, on some stilts, a few chests, a lovely leafy bed, which you can't sleep during the day. And then we've got the stone cutter, some more bigger chests, workbench, cauldron, apothecary table for all my potions, the loom, spindle, and the tannery. So yeah, I've been fairly busy. And as you can see, I've also explored quite a bit, died a few times, but explored quite a bit, and today we're going to take on the first boss, the Rhino Beetle, which you get from this guy, and then I've spoken to this guy, he gives you, he will unlock the treats so we can start taming animals, so we're going to head over to the Rhino Beetle straight away, I've got everything, I've got heals, got potions, I've got the best armor that I can currently get, which took a little while to get. There was a little bit of farming in that, I have to say. The only thing I will say is wood. Oh my god, do you need a lot of wood. Like, all the time you need wood. So I found the best thing to do is when you're out and you see those things there. I'll show you in a sec. Yeah, I like this little balloon, it's cool. When you see those things there... <coughs> these things. These plants. The best thing to do is just chop them down. But always have an axe on you. Because you do get five or six from each one. There you go, six wood, one fiber, so... This is the best way to get wood, basically. And luckily enough, the respawn of the stuff isn't too bad. So yeah, always get wood. Just always, always get wood. If you see it, pick it up. When you get the flint axe to chop it down, just get wood. Right, where am I going? That way. Uh, but what I need to do is go to this crossover here first. I also got very lucky because I found this. This is a Stinger Lance, and it's quite powerful. Uh, I found it just as I was exploring. It was just stuck in the ground, and I just happened across it. And it has been a bit of a lifesaver, I have to say. It does a lot of damage. Um, where am I going? Yeah, across the pond. There you go. Look, there's some more of those trees. Oh, look, there you go. 56 damage with a heavy attack. So three of these, and the thing's dead. Simple. And the same with this. There you go, two of those. Bob's your uncle. It is dead. Right, normally I would chop those trees, but I want to get to this rhino boss, because I don't know how long it's going to take. Uh, this isn't where I want to go. I want to go on that tree. Yes. I made a boo-boo. Yeah, I am completely addicted to this game. It is awesome. The only thing that isn't so awesome about it, and for those of you who are like me, who absolutely despise spiders, that's the only thing which is a bit whiffy. Because there are some big-ass spiders in this game. Even talking about it now. 
I'm getting heebie jeebies. I hate spiders. Spiders should just know. Right, there we go. <clears throat> Cross the tree over the river. I mean, the map is beautiful. Look at it. It's so good. It really is. Like I said, I have done quite a lot of harvesting to get where I am. It is a bit of a grind, but these games generally always are, so there's nothing wrong with that, really. Ah, uh, poppies, I need those. Uh, no, I need to drop down here. Oops. Ah, oh, bees. That's okay. Bees can be a bit of a pain. I would avoid them until you get higher up in the armor chain, because as you can see, they swarm you and poison you. So, you want to be a little bit careful of the bees. I will just take these strawberries though, because I need those strawberry jam. But yeah, bees sort of try and stay away or do what I did to begin with, which is just use the bow and arrow. Sort of run away. Tag them a bit, run away, tag them a bit. Just keep doing that. And eventually they'll go down. But if one's if one you can't single them out. If one sees you, then all three they normally they normally in packs of threes. All three of them will be Attracted to you. You can run away from them. Oh, leave me alone. You can run away from them, so you don't always have to fight. But you do need a lot of resources for the stuff that you're going to craft. So it's best if you do just stand and fight. It takes a bit longer. Come on then. My axe this time. See, it does quite a lot of damage once you get to the top end of stuff. One of those knock you right back on your ass. Oh, wrong one. I want that. Are you going to attack me now? Yep. Oh, I missed. See, I told you, all three will come. There you go, and I've been poisoned now. But the bees really don't do that much harm, so it's okay. Uh, wasps, on the other hand, they do a bit more damage than the bees. Uh, but luckily, for now anyway, I've only ever encountered a single wasp on its own. I haven't encountered three or four wasps together, like with the bees, so... So yeah, you do need quite a lot of resources, as I said, so the best thing to do is just, as you're going to your location, just gather as much as you can, really, within reason. Oh, grasshopper. Leave me alone. I'm not going to hurt you. Chopping these puppies down because I need the seeds. But yeah, it is a bit of a grind, but like I said, these games normally are. Which is fine. I mean, don't forget, <laughs> I'm still early early doors here so get some resin there we go and there is an auto function which is you just once you drop it you just hold F basically so there you go oh well, you know, these things are annoying there you go bull ant there's a wasp over there look, a single wasp they tend to be singular, like I said. There's another count of bees. I hope that's not a storm coming in. Right, where are we? Uh, yeah, so we need to go down here. Also, it's very easy to get lost as well, I've noticed. <laughs> but maybe that's just me. Right, so that's where the our fellow is. We need to head down to the beach, uh, where I haven't actually been yet, down this way anyway. I don't know if we can actually get down there. Oh yes, you will annoy me, won't you? There we go. 
these are wasps. Uh, these are bees, so they're okay. These we can deal with. Now, whoa. There we go, one of them. I missed. Oi. Go. And there we go. Alright, that's them taken care of. Let's just heal up. Let's just get to full health. Alright, you're straight down there. So what we'll do is we'll quickly eat some food and make a bit of space in my inventory. There we go. All at 100. Right. Where is said beetle? These ones, these green bugs are a pain. They take a bit more killing. Right, well he's down here somewhere. Oh, a crouch thing. These aren't too bad. Again, they do do poison damage, so... Basically, it's just a question of timing your roll. Right, so he's obviously in there, Mr. Big Beetle, isn't he? But what we need to do yeah, is just... Right. Yeah, let's see if we can get... Ah, oh, there he is. Ooh, he's big. He's a big boy. Yep, there's our first boss. There is our first boss. I can't remember the name of those beetles. Horned beetle? Rhino beetle? Rhino beetle, isn't it? Yeah, rhino beetle, there you go. It says it on the map, you idiot. Yes. <coughs> He's a big boy. And they are big in general. They are big in general, but what we need to do first is very quickly just put up a little one of these. That collision? Why is there a collision there? Why is there a collision? There shouldn't be a collision. Ah. There we go. Set that as a spawn point. Can we get a workstation? Yes. Just to repair stuff. There we go. Make sure we're fully repaired before we go into this. And one other thing I will do. It's a little fireplace as well. Right. We've got a little camp set up. Okay. Are we ready for this? I don't think I am. Getting thumbnails. Um, right. Well, here goes nothing. Let's see what he does. Ooh, shit. You're a big boy. And he's got a big health bar. Okay. Run away. Why has he got green eyes? Let's see if this does anything to you. Nope, it didn't. I don't think, anyway. Ooh, that was quick. No, that doesn't do anything. Run away. Come on, you big boy. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. He's gonna charge. Ooh. Ooh. 
keep hitting him as much as you can. Oh no. Oh, he's gonna charge. There's a storm coming, I think. Oh no, it's night time. Ooh, he's gonna charge again. Come on, he's almost down. A few more hits. Is he dead? Okay. That wasn't too bad. As the first boss goes. It's a fish. That wasn't too bad. He actually only hit me, what, twice I think with the charge? I will also just grab some flint whilst I'm here. So what we need to do now is go and deliver the horn back to our friend. Uh, him. Nope, wrong button. There we go. I want to untrack it. There we go. Yeah, we need to go and deliver the horn. But what I will do, just because it's dark. Oh, hang on. More seeds here. There we go. Three seeds. So I will sleep. Just so it becomes daylight again, just so you can see. I haven't really encountered any other nasties as of yet. I need to be sheltered. can do. It's a bit pernicinary, but you can do it. There you go. Just use a foundation and you can use it as a shelter. Same when the storm comes as well. Right. Okay. Uh, might as well have a little investigative around here. What is that? Oh, that's that bridge. Okay. We haven't actually, I haven't actually been down here. Oh, it's one of these things. No, you don't. There we go. Oh, I've got some more leveled up. Nice, more seal points. Oh, it's a lot of seeds there. That's good. There might be a storm coming. Grab these seeds whilst we can. So yeah, there you go. That was the first boss. But again, I did. Ooh. Don't know what that is. Not far away. The grass up, right? Ow! Leave me alone. What's also nice is you will see the other insects fight one another. What are you? I... Lubber. Blunt damage. Okay. You got a big health bar. Ooh. That hurt. Oh shit. That hurt quite a lot. Run away! Run away! Okay, that was quite painful. Don't like that. Don't like that at all. Yeah. These things I said, these things are just annoying. Because these things take quite a battering. Come on, go down. There we go. All I want is the flint. Oop. 
I mean, you can run away from them. You don't have to. Ooh, gecko. Geckos give you the leather, so it might be worth taking him out. The only thing I would say is just make sure you've got plenty of heals on you and you should be fine. Obviously grind up to get the armor and stuff like that. My stamina regen. There we go. Right, Mr. Gecko. And if you use the... There you go. Vulnerabilities is edge damage, so... You can, um... You can see which weapon types you need. They don't really do that much damage. So. I missed. Oh dear, this isn't good. Need to heal. Run away, run away, run away. Uh, let's take a healing potion. There we go. Ooh, inventory is full. That's not good. Uh, we get rid of. We can get rid of those and those things. Those bones are a bit more important than the stingers. Oh, these things are so annoying. Not hard to kill, they're just annoying as anything. Because they take quite a few hits. And they do that stupid jump. Right, I need to get up there somehow. Yeah, I've gone I've gone too far now. Alright, let's just let me just collect this splint quickly. And we'll go and give this back to Oh, I want the seeds as well. So yeah, be prepared for, I'm not going to say a mega grind, but a grind, none the least. I mean, if you played Valheim, it's the same, basically. It's the easiest thing I can compare this to in terms of gameplay, building, crafting, all that kind of stuff. It's just basically, basically Valheim, but bug version, what I would say. There's another one. There we go. Alright, once I give this rhino horn to this dude, he should unlock the treat that I need to start taming and riding animals. Um, although... I don't think I'll be able to tame all of them at once. I think each time you do... Oh, it's full again. Not anymore. Each time you do a... A boss, you unlock a treat. I think that's how it works anyway. I'm only basing that on this first boss that I've done now. Maybe that might be wrong. Maybe the first... Second boss will give me something else. Right, we need to get onto that log. And slither our way up. Yes, this log here, which looks very much like a snake. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Up you get. Come on, you can do it. Ooh, no, you can't. Okay. Yeah, full damage is a thing. There we go. Slowly does it. You want to be careful of the full damage. There's a single wasp. He's gone the other way. I actually haven't been over here. Look, this is another thing I love. All the human interaction that you can see. All the bits of junk and... What is this? Oh, wood pile. Nice. Take all of that. Or you're ignoring me. 
Yeah, let's see all of this stuff. All the cumin, the cans, and... <laughs> the old boot. Look, this is pretty cool as well. I like those little details. That's right. There's a camera as well I found lying around. Uh, right, where are you? You are a bit higher up there, aren't you? Yes, okay, so we need to go a bit higher. Because we're still on the beach. Alright, these are bees. Come on then. You done. Ow, that's you done. Got no stamina. There we go. Right. Need to find a way back up again. Might as well just take a quick healing bandage. But like I said, just have enough heals on you and some potions and you should be all right and if you want to avoid things just run away from them and they'll, they'll they will chase you for a little bit and then eventually they'll stop and give up and turn around again more bees to deal with bees dealt with. But yeah, the bees at the beginning, when you're sort of naked and you haven't really got anything, the bees can be a little bit of a pain because they swarm you like that. So when you haven't got the... an upgraded armor or upgraded weapons, they can... Um, I mean, you can defeat them, they just very annoying because they just swarm you like that right almost there dropping this thing off all the roots crawling around everywhere it's wicked we should be yes here we go right let's go and drop this off where is he there he is I have a gift for you my friend Uh, brought you the rhino horn. It's very useful. I suggest you visit and see her. She might have some insight into the matter as she can look at creatures of the swamps. Before you leave, please accept the references. My thanks. With those, you'll be able to tame creatures. Beware that the most tough ones will probably break free. You're a smart one. Thank you. Basic training trap. There we go. So, she said the map was updated. Who did she say to visit? Ah, her. Cassandra. Yeah, but we've still got him to do. Uh, he just shows you the stone crafting, so he doesn't do anything. And we've still got her to do. Right, so... Um... Let's head back and have a look at this crafting recipe. Uh, good thing to just... Wrong button. There we go. Get back to my tree. Uh, my inventory's not full, so I can get a bit more wood. There we go. Like I said, you just... Wood is the most used, so far anyway, from what I found at the beginning, being at this level. It is the most used resource, so when you see it, get it. That's all I can say. But I have spent a fair bit of time just running around, collecting resources. Is this my tree? No, this isn't my tree. My tree's further away. Uh, where's the... And also be careful of the fall damage, because like I said, if you fall from too high place, there we go, you will die. So, ooh, you do want to be careful of the fall damage. And sometimes, there we go, you've got to sort of be in the right position to utilize the the double jump well not double jump but 
you know, jump and grab onto things. There you go. So as long as you run past them, they don't necessarily attack you. If you run behind them where they can't see you, he will see me because I'm running straight into him. But you're easy enough to deal with. Right, we are hungry. Some food. Right, where do we want to go? Where's my log to cross? Hang on. Straight ahead of me. Yeah, that one with the mushrooms on. There we go. That one with the mushrooms on. And also where a storm approaches. Oh no. That's not what I needed right now. Okay, we're going to have to put up a little shelter here. Just to get out the storm. There you go, let's see. Now you can see in the bottom left you've got the little sheltered symbol, so it's okay. Hopefully he won't see me. I haven't actually been out in the storm, so I don't know what happens. I've always managed to get to shelter before the storm hits. Um It looks like we're going to go and do him next. You see me, but you can't get to me. <laughs> you stay over there. You can't get to me. As, as you can see, it does give you a bit of time to get to shelter. So I probably could have made it across the bridge, but... I always just quickly... No, no. figured it out. Cheeky B. I always, uh, yeah, as I was saying, I always just put the shelter up quickly and get underneath it and just hold fast. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. There you go, the storm is broken. I don't know what happens if you go out in the storm. And I don't want to test it because I don't want to die. So far. I would rather just sort of, you know, do this and be safe. <laughs> what you can also do as well, if you're feeling quite vulnerable, is you can, provided you've got the resources, you can just put two walls up, look, see? One there, or a couple of walls up, and sort of box yourself in, and then just dismantle it at the end to get out again. If you're in a place where there's some fairly dangerous creatures around, then you can just do that, it's no problem. Come on, just got to wait for this to pass. I haven't actually been down to see him. I ventured down here a bit, but um, there was some much bigger and much... Many more teeth down there, so I decided to return because I got scared. Right, there we go. Now it's dissipated and we can move off again. I need to get onto this. I can't remember how I did this now. Oh. Just die already. Thank you. There we go. And then up across. And then onto the mushrooms, and onto the tree, our little walkway bridge. Yeah, water, avoid water. You can't swim, you'll just drown. So avoid water. I mean, you can sort of scramble onto a rock. Um, if there's one close. So you can do that. I right, need to go, there's my tree. Here's my big old tree. My big old base. Yeah, I can't be bothered to fight you. You can just chase me and I'll run away. You can see he's chasing me. And eventually he'll give up and he'll run away.
Okay, but then you run into another one which didn't help. But like I said, they will eventually give up. And they'll return back to their... Okay, he's following. A lot longer than normal. There you go, he's given up now. He's given up now. Right, this is my little air balloon. I love this little air balloon, it's awesome. But... For those of you who are afraid of spiders, like myself, I would advise you to look away now. Because look at that. That is disgusting in every way possible. And I am not going down there. That is horrible, even looking at it and just seeing the way it moves. Ooh. No. Take me up to the great tree. But he's got a little heater going, a little blowing hot air into the... I don't know, a leaf maybe? I don't quite know, can't quite work out what that would be. But look at the little curl of the pipe and the little twigs. It's all really cool, man. Really, really cool design. Alright, home sweet home. And now... We should have improved pasty bait, basic, simple bait. Um, so where do you get the simple bait from then? That's one thing I haven't unlocked. I've got the recipe for that, but I haven't got the recipe for the simple bait. What's this? Besides it and a companion and restore some of its health, this item has single use. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, so where do I get the bait from then? Tasty bait and simple bait. I don't know where to unlock those recipes from. Might as well. Pop up my healing patches, put all my stuff away again. Fiber, wood, wood. Uh, what else we got here? Seeds, where are my seeds? There are my seeds. Leather, insect goo. Oh, I'm running out of space for everything here. Uh... More of those. You do need quite a lot of storage space. I will certainly say that. Uh, let's put that in there. Wings. Where's the... Now oh, there's my flint. Where... Are those in there. They should be there, no? Yes, there they are. Patches, that's all medicine stuff. Bones, I did see bones somewhere. There they are. Bones. And then the rest of the stuff is inside. Uh, fingers. Soul drops. Roach meat. Strawberry. And honey crumble. There we go. Yeah, so there. I don't know where to get the tasty bait from. Maybe you get that from one of the other ones, I guess, then. Maybe you get that from him or her. She knows about swamp creatures, he said. He said. So it looks like you can go back and do it again. I need to set my spawn point to my base, that's all. Yeah, I definitely can't do... Tasty treat, can I? No, I definitely can't make that. So I'm obviously missing an ingredient to be able to do that. I don't know what ingredient. But yeah, I am definitely missing an ingredient to be able to do that. Oh, let me just repair my stuff. What's also nice is if it's only very slightly damaged, 
it doesn't cost any ingredients to repair, which is another nice feature. And the sun is beginning to set. Well, on that note, guys, that's where I'm going to leave it. We did our first boss. I think next time we're going to head over here and do this guy, see what he has to say. I haven't been over there yet. But yeah, we'll sort of go into a triangle. Boom, boom, boom. Him, him, or her, and then her. Those two I've done. Yeah, I could also... The only reason that gravestone is there is because my infantry was full and there's a few things left and I can't remember what it is, to be honest. So yeah, I'm going to... No. I'm gonna get some... Why can I not get into my house? Close the door. Thank you. I'm gonna get into my... My, uh... Little cabin. A little cabin. Awesome little cabin. And, uh... I'll catch you guys on the next one. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe if you're new, ring that little notification bell to get notified when my videos go live. And as always, I'll catch you all on the next one.